Aqua Teen Hunger Force is a show that ran from 2000 to 2015 and aired on Adult Swim. I only knew about the show because I'd sometimes stay up way too late when I was like 10 years old and it'd come on and I'd, I'd just be like, what is this? Like, I, I just, it's a weird show. It had raunchy humor and was honestly ridiculous and cheap, but in a great way. I've seen a few episodes since. It's a, it's a pretty good show, but people love this show. People will die by this show. I mean, like this show has some diehard fans. You wouldn't look at this and think so, but it does. That's why it ran for so long. Anyways, we aren't here to talk about how great this show is. We are here to talk about how it shut down a whole city. In February 2007, a marketing approach by Cartoon Network for its Adult Swim show was to place these little LED guys you see on screen around different big cities. It's a character in the show, and it was meant to advertise it so people would see it and be like, oh, what's that, and look into it and find the show and, you know, watch it. It was trying to be really experimental and make people look stuff up on their phones because it was 2007 and this was all new and they were trying different ways, you know, advertise and this was one of them. Honestly, not the smartest way, but kind of cool. But these little LED guys would be up in big cities for over three weeks just around street corners and other random locations until in Boston, it would be noticed by the Boston Police Department, who then shut down the city thinking they were from a terrorist organization and it was a bomb threat. Noticing these guys three weeks late is a is a little rough. I will say that uh, Boston Police Department, you kind of slacked. And uh, looking at this and thinking, oh yeah, that's a bomb threat is a, is a little much. But I'm going to be honest, if I saw this little guy in my town, I have no clue what, what would be going through my brain. I mean, it is weird and crude and throwing up the middle finger. And it's just, I don't know, man. I don't know what bomb threats look like. So seeing it as a threat isn't that crazy, I guess. The whole city would be shut down for over a day. Imagine you're at home, can't leave your house due to the forced bomb lockdown to keep everyone safe, and you see a news report on it showing these little LED guys, and you're like, wait, that's from, that's from my favorite show. Just wild, but the broadcasting network behind Cartoon Network ended up paying $2 million to the scene damages due to no one going to work that day. The marketing team behind it was sentenced to community service uh, due to it being their idea, and the president of Cartoon Network stepped down due to how big of a blunder this was, which feels a, a little, little bit much. This whole situation blew up way out of proportion. See what I see what I did there? Never mind. Never mind. Bombs aren't funny, guys. They aren't funny. They can do they can do serious damage. Uh, but the crazy part is, just a year later, an episode was made by the show Aqua Teen Hunger Force titled Boston. And the premise for the episode was mocking and showing just how dumb the situation really was and was set to release until the network pulled it last minute. This episode was fully made and ready to air until pulled and it seems it'll never see the day of light, which is crazy because this whole thing happened in 2007 and we are plenty over a decade from it. So I think if it is released today, no one would even flinch an eye, no one would even care, no one would even really remember the situation. But I get it from the network stance. They already lost $2 million. They don't want to lose any more on just a one-off episode. They don't really want any lawsuits or anything in order to make fun of anyone. Uh, but many people behind it say it's one of the best of the show. And that it's a shame that it was never able to be released because it was so funny and good. But who knows? Some lost media seems like it'll never come to light and then it does. So maybe, just maybe, we'll see it. Uh, but I don't think it'd really matter that much. It's just so, it would be so far past time that it wouldn't really hit like it would have back then. Uh, so the only people who really gained from the people that made it and then watched it. But the real lesson that needed to be learned here today is that sometimes a billboard is enough. Anyways, subscribing would be appreciated. Get me to 100. Have a good morning, evening, or night. Peace.